Welcome, Mr. Webb. Mr. Brown is already awaiting you. You will find him in his office, down the hallway. Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. Mr. Brown? Nice to meet you, Mr. Webb. But you... Did you have a nice arrival? Are you... okay? I'm fine, thank you. You look hungry, though. Business can wait until tomorrow. Well... But before we eat, you have to meet the other guests. Guests? I'd like to introduce you to Miss April Merritt. April, this is my business partner, Mr. Webb. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. But don't you think it's quite odd that he's in- This is her daughter, Josie. Hello, sir. And you already met my butler, Declan, over there. Very well. Guys, what's going on here? Let's have dinner. Delicious. Isn't it, April? Declan really surpassed himself. Yummy. What do you think, Mr. Webb? I'm more interested in why you are an owl. So, everyone finished? Yes, Mum. I will guide Mr. Webb to his room then. All right. Should I stay here? With Mr. Brown? I'll be right back, okay? We'll see each other tomorrow. Just come to my office when you're ready. We've got a lot of work to do. Your room is upstairs. Second door on the left. So, now that we are alone... What the heck is wrong with Mr. Brown? Psst. He might hear us. Why shouldn't I speak out about what he is? Because it's very dangerous to provoke him. He doesn't seem to be aggressive. But he has been in the past. What do you think about Declan? I don't know if we can trust him. Maybe you can find out. How long have you already been here? I don't know exactly. Weeks. Maybe even months. He won't let us leave. Do you want to leave this place? Of course I do. Let's go, then. He is with Josie right now, and I won't leave without her. Let's just go and get her. What could he do to stop us? You underestimate him. Sometimes he lurks in the dark, eavesdrops on our conversations. I think he even poisoned the tap water. The only way you could help us is to neutralize him before you fall under his spell. I don't need an umbrella at the moment. Morning, Mr. Webb. Just hand over the contracts and we can get straight to work. Enough for today. 
We're making good progress here. See you later at dinner. See you there. I often can't find any sleep at night. Then I like to observe the stars through my telescope. How may I be of service? What's for dinner today? Lamb and kidney pie. Very well. What do you recommend to drink? We've got a decent selection of red wine. Just don't drink the tap water. Why shouldn't I? Well, the water in this area is a bit limey. May I ask you a personal question, Declan? Certainly, sir. Have you ever thought about quitting your job? Excuse me? Do you think about leaving this house? It's not that easy. I will take care of it, but I need your help. What should I do? Can you provide me some sort of weapon? Well, there are plenty of knives in the kitchen. That should do. Meet me tomorrow at this place. We have to eat dinner now. How was work? Mr. Webb is a tough negotiating partner. But I'm confident that we can conclude an agreement. We'll find a solution for our problem soon. You're our only chance. Don't worry. It will be over soon. I'm afraid it may already be too late. Mr. Webb, what are you up to? I... I knew it all the time, but it won't work. You hear me? Mr. Brown. Declan. I didn't do anything wrong, sir. It's me who decides about that. Come to my room after dinner. No, sir, please. Here it is. Thank you, Declan. Be prepared to leave this house soon. I just hope that it works. I don't want to hurt him. dead. Let's get out of here. Can we really leave now, Mummy? I think it's already too late for him. No, not again. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's have dinner. Welcome, Mr. Riley. Mr. Webb is already awaiting you. You will find him in his office, down the hallway. Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. Mr. Webb? Nice to meet you, Mr. Riley. You look hungry. But before we eat, you have to meet the other guests. 
Let's have dinner. Delicious. What do you think, Mr. Riley? It's pretty good, indeed. I'm glad to hear that. There's nothing better than a good dinner. I am really tired. That's hardly surprising. You had an exhausting day. And we've got a lot of work to do. We'll see each other tomorrow. What the heck is wrong with Mr. Webb? Psst. He might hear us. He doesn't seem to be aggressive. But he has been in the past. You underestimate him. Sometimes he lurks in the dark. Eavesdrops on our conversations. I think he even poisoned the tap water. The only way you could help us is to neutralize him. Before you fall under his spell. Good morning, Mr. Riley. Just hand over the contracts and we can get straight to work. Voices in my head They scream in the name of a long forgotten past They're threatening me This shell is built to last Hear me out, this ain't over soon Day in and day out we feast at noon The final contract might get you out Go figure what it's about If I can leave then you can too No men, no women, no innocent daughter They'll have to see this through It may have started out with a sip of the water Day, another night, another sip, another bite. I can feel the many feet marching now as I'm complete. It's getting worse, the feeling inside. Got nowhere to run, no place to hide. And I can feel the many feet marching now as I'm complete. How may I be of service? What's for dinner today? Haggis. Nice. Can you provide me some sort of weapon? Well, there are plenty of knives in the kitchen. That should do. Meet me tomorrow at this place. We have to eat dinner now. How was work? Mr. Riley is a tough negotiating partner, but I'm confident that we can conclude an agreement. We'll find a solution for our problem soon. You're our only chance. Don't worry. It will be over soon. I'm afraid it may already be too late. Here it is. Can you give me one more knife? Here you go. 
Thank you, Declan. He's dead. Let's get out of here. Can we really leave now, Mummy? I think it's already too late for him. No, not again. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's have dinner. Welcome, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Riley is already awaiting you. You will find him in his office, down the hallway. Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. This place looks strangely familiar. Mr. Riley? Nice to meet you, Mr. Chambers. Let's have dinner. Delicious. Sometimes he lurks in the dark, eavesdrops on our conversations. I think he even poisoned the tap water. The only way you could help us is to neutralize him before you fall under his spell. Good morning, Mr. Chambers. How may I be of service? What's for dinner today? Lamb and kidney pie. Very well. Have you ever thought about quitting your job? Excuse me? Do you think about leaving this house? It's not that easy. My master possesses the people inside this house. Everyone who stays here longer than a few hours falls under his spell. I will take care of it, but I need your help. What should I do? Can you provide me some sort of weapon? Well, there are plenty of knives in the kitchen. That should do. Meet me tomorrow at this place, but hear my words. It may already be too late for you to survive this situation. The only way to stop this man would be if he was killed by someone who just arrived at this house. We have to eat dinner now. How was work? Mr. Chambers is a tough negotiating partner, but I'm confident that we can conclude an agreement. We'll find a solution for our problem soon. Mr. Chambers, what are you up to? I... I knew it all the time, but it won't work. You hear me? Mr. Riley. Declan, come to my room after dinner. No, sir, please. Here it is. Can you give me one more knife? Here you go. Thank you, Declan. Be prepared to leave this house soon. I just hope that it works. A 
concealed a knife inside the umbrella stand. dead. Let's get out of here. Can we really leave now, Mummy? I think it's already too late for him. No, not again. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's have dinner. Welcome, Mr. Dawson. Mr. Chambers is already awaiting you. You will find him in his office, down the hallway. Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. There goes another one. There is a knife hidden inside the umbrella stand. He awaits you in his office. He's dead. Let's get out of here. Can we really leave now, Mummy? Yes, my dear. This creature won't detain us any longer. We'll leave this nightmare and never look back. Voices in my head They scream in the name of a long forgotten the threatening me, the shell is built to last. Hear me out, this ain't over soon. Day in and day out, we feast at noon. The final contract might get you out. Go figure what it's about. If I can leave, then you can too. No men, no women, no innocent daughter They'll have to see this through It may have started out with a sip of the water Another day, another night Another sip, another bite I can feel the many feet marching out as I'm complete. It's getting worse, the feeling inside. Got nowhere to run, no place to hide. And I can feel the many feet marching out as I'm complete. Let's have dinner.